This was Sagan's take on today's extraordinary claim when we reached him by telephone. Sagan's whole life has been spent in the pursuit of truth between lofty speculation and cold, hard logic. Few scientists have made such extraordinary claims. Fewer still have been able to back them up with such extraordinary evidence. His has been a career filled with the wonder of what is really true. to Venus in 1962, the 27-year-old astronomer appeared on network television as an expert on the planet. There have been suggestions that it's a large swamp uh, filled with all sorts of prehistoric animals. Uh, that, of course, would not be if it were at 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I would say that the best guess, and uh, I should emphasize that it really is a guess, is that uh, it's a large desert uh, with no liquid water, certainly no plants, and uh, in all probability, no life of any sort. dream of the adventure into space had finally begun and Carl Sagan would have front row seats.